We know recycling is necessary for sustaining our environment. How do you recycle your waste? We have two distinct recycling styles here. Let's see if you fit into one of them. Some of us are careful recyclers who spend a lot of time carefully categorizing waste. Although everything is correctly sorted into different bins, we spend a lot of time deciding what goes where. Others of us spend less time recycling. We don't really pay attention to whether it belongs in recycling or the garbage can. Sometimes we recycle the paper package with a half-eaten burger inside, even though one's recycling is contaminated by food. It cannot be recycled anymore. So, is there a way for us to minimize time and effort? Spent recycling while we correctly categorizing these objects. I trash a smart recycling system can do both for us. How does I trash do it? By using computer vision, we can teach machines how to see things. First, we have to take images that can help our machines learn. We used a dataset that was manually collected. By Stanford University, consisting of images of recycled objects in six distinct categories: glass, paper, metal, plastic, cardboard, and trash, with approximately 400 to 500 images each, totaling about 2,400 images. With the dataset, it was time for us to find a model to make the best predictions. A convolutional neural network (CNN) is a state-of-the-art deep learning algorithm that has led to groundbreaking advancements in computer vision. The convolutional base can extract features from images, and the classifier can classify the images. Based on detected features, in order to make the machine learn faster, we also chose a pre-trained CNN model, Inception V3. This is the third edition of Google's Inception convolutional neural network, helping classify objects in the world of computer vision. Since this pre-trained model is already able to recognize features, we can find what. For better performance and accuracy, after the model is trained, when we give a photo of an object to the machine, it can tell us what category the waste fits into. So far, iTrash has an accuracy rate of 83%. So now, with this iTrash system, what can we do with it? We wouldn't have problems no matter the recycling style. Recycle bins will not be mistakenly contaminated, nor will we need to waste too much time on recycling anymore. Let's imagine the system is applied in every recycling and garbage can worldwide. It is not only beneficial to individuals, but it also reduces the pre-processing efforts at recycling facilities, and as a result, help us to protect our own Earth.